Yo, 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 Shout out to my Smooth Lifer gang, man. If you're not a Smooth Lifer, go ahead and hit that sub button to become a Smooth Lifer, man. And hit that like button while you're at it, too. But let's get right into the video, man. Today, we're going to talk about my five things I love about my 2018 Camaro Z01. I say five, but it's really 30. But let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So first things first, man, I love the shape of the car. That's my first thing. It just looks so aggressive. You see how wide the front grille is and all the intakes, the air intakes and everything. Just look at the shape of the car. You see, you can just see how wide the fender is. See, we don't need wide bodies, man. Dodge had to make a wide body Hellcat, man. Ours already come wide. You see the shape of the car, man, all the way with the bigger wing, too. But that's number one. That's easy work. Let's get to number two. Okay, guys. So number two, we're gonna start. We're still in the exterior, so number two, I will say, is the wheels. <clears throat> I could say it's like a split five spoke, but like it's like a more crazier like look to them on with my shadow in there. But like the wheels are like so nice, and I like how they already have like a little the offset is pretty nice on them. A little concave too. I'm trying to get it good. And I like how they they're the same color as the brake caliper, so they it ties in together. 20 by 11 in the back and 20 by 10 in the front. So I like how it looks, man. It's nice, wide, has 305 tires on, on the back and what, 285 I think is the front. Let's see. Shoot, yes, 285. So that's two things down. Let's go to number three. Okay, you guys, so for number three, y'all know we got to touch on this interior for sure. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you see, Red seat belts, man. Red seat belts is crazy. Stock too. Come with red seat belts, man. I like how they even implemented in the rear seats, which are not usable at all. And you know we got to get on this this Recaro seat, man. This Alcantara, so soft and it's also heated and cooled. Man, this interior is so nice. I had a two SS. It was like this, but it wasn't as like. This feels a lot much better. You know we got Alcantara on the steering wheel. I know how to re knit this too if it gets messed up. So keep that thing on me. And these also, so these, oh, matter of fact, we're going to talk about the Camaro. This illuminates at night, but this glows, this glows, this line, the cup holder and the other door glows 27 different colors. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to be stingy. Let's start it. Oh, man. I would never get over that startup. So let's close the door. You hear the supercharger a little bit. So you see how... You just go here, let's go over, lighting, light strip, and these are, I think this is 27, what, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 27 different colors, so it's blue, let's go yellow, see if yellow will show up, so look, I don't know if you can see it change colors, let's see, yellow, yellow, it's so bright outside, you can't tell, but let's try pink. See how it changes? Come on, man. But you gotta see it at night, you guys. But the interior for sure is my one of my favorite things about this car. And I feel like this is the best interior out of all the cars in this market. This, this interior is better than a, a Corvette Z06 too. Trust me, it is. If you see the, it's crazy, man. I don't even wanna get into all that, man. But on to number four. And of course, number four is, come on, man. We gonna look, we gonna touch this LT4 for sure, man. Number four is this LT4, you guys. Can I do it with one hand? Yeah. The fourth thing is the LT4. Coincidence? So it is a 6.2 liter with a 1.7 liter supercharger on top of it. And this is the, the heart and soul of my Z01, which is also the same engine that's in a C7 Z06. 650 horsepower and 650 torque, you guys. We have a little extra in a intercooler reservoir holds a extra gallon of coolant train going crazy in the back we have our stock we still have our stock intake holder intake have a bar strut bar all that stuff man but i know you guys want to hear it so let's hear it but i have a i have an awe catback track track edition so no cat no resonators 
no muffler is just from the stock cats in back so let's hear what she sounds like you guys come on man you turn it off. come on man you can't get no better than that man i feel like these engines sound better than Hemi's hellcats engine and they also sound better than uh well i like mustang the voodoo voodoo sounds pretty all right but I just, I, it's something about GM and Chevy, man. I love how it sounds, man. I'm a bow tire die type of guy, you guys. So that is four things. The LT4 was made number four. Number five, let's see what I can come up with. I got you. On to number five. So you guys, number five is gonna be the 10 speed transmission. So on paper, and also GM says it shifts faster than a PDK, which I can see. I have my father has a Porsche Panamera with a PDK. This upshifts faster, but compared to a DCT, it downshifts slower. And I've seen from experience, upshifts are quick, but the downshifts are like, it's a little lagging. It's not, only some people who's used other ones would notice. But the 10 speed transmission is insane, you guys. So we have it, we kind of, we partnered with Ford. That's what GM said, they partnered with Ford to make this 10 speed transmission, which is also in the Mustang GT. So let's go ahead and, I mean, y'all want to test it out? We'll test it on the road. I'll show you guys my favorite feature about it is so you can downshift into whatever gear you need to and just put an automatic when you take off and it shifts by itself and it's so fast and it keeps you in your power band. So I really make close races with other people close races. And this car has hung up, has hung with cars that are faster, making 700 horsepower, stuff like that, just off of the transmission itself. So those are my five things, but I'm gonna show you guys what on the road with this 10 speed transmission is all about. I mean, honestly, like, come on, man. If you're in a market for a pretty fast car from factory with a warranty that's not $100,000, matter of fact, $80,000 or more, man, this is the perfect car for you, man. I'm tired of seeing all these people trying to say, oh, Camaro, the visibility actually the visibility is not bad you just have to move their your mirrors to where you need them i have blind spot monitors so like the visibility is not bad and who buys a sports car for visibility don't you have trucks and big wide suvs for that so that that argument is terrible you guys but man this is i feel like this is the best bang for your buck sixty thousand dollar car really competes with supercars and honestly, it's a nicer ride. You have Magna Ride, which I should have added in there. Magna Ride is one of my favorite the suspension. You go from soft to track, which, which is the hardest setting. And it has so many modes and so many lighting options. It's just like, it's a perfect car, man. And for me as a young man, man, I like the car. I enjoy it. And I would persuade people to get this car. If they're in the market for one, if they're trying to figure out what they like, supercharged, has a blower on it, not NA. But yeah, man, that's the video, man. I hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead, become a smooth lifer. If you aren't already, man, go ahead and subscribe. We are 80, 80, 80 some subscribers away from getting monetized, man. Get me to 1K, you guys, and we will have a giveaway, and I will show you guys a giveaway at 1K. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys, man. Smooth Life Tie is out.